Boo! Today we're gonna make a scarecrow. I hope I didn't scare you. That was me behind the scarecrow. So Hope and I made the scarecrow so people could sit back and take pictures of fall on this lovely backdrop. We got our pumpkins, our straw, and now we have a scarecrow. So we made this scarecrow for a photo set, like what you see here. We even wrote on a door covered with chalkboard tape, inviting people to come take a picture and also tag us in the photos they took on Instagram. Go. So here's the tutorial and after we make the scarecrow, we'll run through some of the key points about how to do it.
We started off by going to Goodwill and getting a checkered shirt and a tie-dye t-shirt. And I pulled some jeans out of a drawer that I had, ripped up jeans and some old boots. Also got the hat at Goodwill and got the pumpkin basket at uh, Dollar Tree. We used a jack-o'-lantern head on this one, but I also made a video for the company I work for um, using their mascot. So I'll link to that and you can click on it if you'd like. Uh, the company is Magic Ears and Rich and I both work there. That's how we have so much time to do videos like this. If you wanted to make a family of scarecrows, you could use your kids' clothes and your clothes and make it any size you want. And we did this by measuring every board to fit the actual clothes. So we measured the arm board to fit the actual arms, the torso board to fit the torso, etc. Um, the only thing that I would want to clarify about the process in the video is I think I would cut the boards a tiny bit shorter than I did for each measurement. So the arm's a little shorter, the torso a little shorter, just a couple of inches shorter than what you actually need because clothes do kind of pull up when they're, when they're hanging on arms. So I would change that a little bit. Um, I also made this neck ruffle just to kind of give it the look of like a bag face without having the bag, because you can use any kind of face you want. And that's just tied on. Um, and then, sorry about the noise. And then? <laughs> and we grew some corn in the backyard, so I had some corn stalks, we stuffed that in. But you could use hay, you could use raffia ribbon, whatever you want. Um, I stuffed this one with paper but you could also stuff it with trash bags or hay or anything that you That's really about it. It was pretty simple. It took about an hour to make. A little longer because I was filming it, but it's about an hour. And we got a lot of use out of the scarecrow. Well, now it's time to say goodbye. Goodbye. And please like, comment this video. And ah! No, like, it, like this video, comment on it, and subscribe. No, no, that's not what I'm Like this video, comment if you want to say something, please subscribe. And if you made your own scarecrow, follow us on Instagram and tag us in the picture. We'd love to see it at Dick and Hope. Well said. Bye. Boo! Today we're going to make a scare. Say boo! <laughs> like this video, comment down below, and subscribe to our channel. Cut. Like this video, comment down below, and subscribe to this channel. Follow us on Instagram. Follow us on Instagram.